Welcome everyone, I'm Tim, and this is the controller. Thanks for clicking on Fallout 4, Level 1 Nuke World. Last time, we made our way back over to the Commonwealth and set up a few different raider bases for the pack, disciples, and the operators. And now, the operators decided that they are going to be unhappy with the arrangements, since I have definitely favored the disciples and pack. So power play has kicked off and we are in need of meeting up with the pack and disciples bosses outside of the power plant back in Nuke World to hopefully deal with the operators. And unfortunately, this will probably end up being the last episode of level one Nuke World, which is kind of a little bittersweet as I have thoroughly enjoyed doing this run. But with that, Let's jump into it. All right, back at Nukatown, USA. Question will be, how angry are the operators already? Are they, are they going to be wanting to take me out right off the bat? And it certainly looks like the answer is yes. Right now we're in the pack territory, but they are looking a little ferocious. They're moving in. I feel good. Here are the gunfires, and yeah, they might actually be able to take out the operators, which operators are kind of pinned between the disciples and the pack. Whoa. Hey, asshole. Could use a little help here. We got some Molotovs going. Can you throw some bullets that way? All right, in danger. Where are they all? Don't want to get too close. But at the same time, I want to give a little bit of a hand. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good. Ooh, another one right there. Oh, did they die too? Did I get a double death? Double kill? Pack seem pretty content. Though still hear something going on. I'm tempted to just go into the parlor right now and try to just take out a bunch of uh, the operators, but I don't think I want to do that at the moment. I think the better option is to eliminate some of the excess caps I just picked up and then have a good night's rest. Try to bring it back over, get it back to nighttime so we can hopefully do a little bit more damage output. Ooh, Nuka Great. That's nice. Oh, and here we go. I should have known better. There are operators in here. You didn't last longer. Although, plenty of disciples in pack that I didn't have to do anything. Nice work, everybody. Need some stims? Or I can patch you up myself. There we go. There are our reinforcements a lot of them moving in looks like they are all the disciples as long as we don't have just another random spawn here oh, i got some miscellaneous operators to deal with how about in here disciples have guns operator too far out. Okay. Don't have line of sight. Nice knife work. Nice knife work. Where are you at? Operator. Okay, can't see any other ones. 
Hey, and there we go. We got to level up. We're going to be right in the thick of things. Okay, where are you at? Where am oh, there you are. Okay, so these guys are pretty tough. At least the operator waster. Any more in the back room? Nope. Okay. So with that level up that we just got. Afraid of a little commitment? So was the last boss. Ah, I'm not afraid at all. I thought those were our reinforcements, but they were just Ooh. Is that a victory? But they were just here for this random quartz. For this random spawn point here, but we need to take out the operators anyway. Had the operators there. Cave crickets are dead. There is the power plant dead ahead. Everything's are everything is looking pretty good. But as we did hit that next level up, nothing is too close once again. We will be taking hits because we will be running in. So just take uh, another rank of endurance. Build up that hit points a little bit. Now, probably should just go on the life giver, get the plus 20 maximum health. But that's okay. Overall, we still got more hit points. That's the main thing. Before we end up talking to Mason and Nisha, I think we're going to want to do a little bit of a cocktail. Hit up some booze. I think I have one more XL still floating around left over yet from... Ah, uh, Concord, right at the very beginning when we were doing our prep work. No sense of just keeping that around. Might as well just go full on. This is going to be the last hurrah in here. So, we'll get that taken care of. Then we will talk to the bosses, which you would think, if the operators have the power plant, wouldn't you bring, like, your gangs here, too, and, like, actually charge in with like 20 people a piece eh, I don't know that's just what I would do there we go we have to hunt down and kill William May William and Mags black but first I kind of want to take a look at my weapons disciples blade doing a whopping 369. And the Poisoner's Rocket Bat 555. Five. Very, very nice indeed. Especially since we are rocking no adrenaline since we just slept back up at Fizztop Krill. Now as we're coming on in here, Mason and Nisha are super, super strong. They're going to be able to handle most of this themselves if I wanted to let them do it. They'll be able to tank their bosses. The uh, just generic operators won't be too much of an issue for them. But I'll just kind of hang in the back a little bit until they start getting the fire drawn their way. And then I think we can just kind of we have a lot of damage output. We can probably just kind of sneak in and just start Pick them off with the blitz, which will be very, very handy. Provided they don't chuck in explosives. Holy smokes. Ouch. As long as they don't chuck in explosives and end up blowing me. Blowing me up. Of course, I did the Nuka Cola Dark a little too early. Man, they're so tough. They might end up killing everybody off before I can even sneak in on them. Just in caution and detected. Yeah, Mason and Nisha, they're so tough. Yeah, just come running right on in, and I'll just take you out as you come running. I really do look kind of like the kill animations that they got. Oh, legendary operator over there. Very, very nice. I think we have one 
Still in caution, even. I think we have one. Holy smokes. Yeah. Still in caution. We'll crit it just, just be on the safe side. What do you got? Ah, instigating pipe wrench. That's not half bad, really. It's got the puncturing mod to it, 215. So double that, be at 430. That's not the worst thing in the world, really. But being a medium weapon, medium speed, not really worth it for me. Now, if I had a jetpack and was rocking some power armor, I could bypass a decent chunk of this or like go up into the ball and make my way over, get a shot at a couple bosses up top. But I haven't used power armor yet. No sense of waiting and doing it now. Got some ghouls to take care of on this lower level. And we'll start running into a little bit more, a few more operators again. Got all excited for nothing. Don't worry, Nisha. Yeah, let's see your knife work. Ooh. Come on, Nisha. You're better than that. Oh, go back to your knife. I want to see how an expert does it. You seriously get knocked down from that? That's a disappointment. That was, yeah, that was disappointing, Nisha. Not nearly as tough as I thought you might be. But just follow her. Don't have to worry about a whole lot more. She'll run in first, draw all the attention. Got a turret nearby, but... Won't have to worry a whole lot about anything else. She'll draw all the attention. Curious as to where Mason is, though. He came in here, too, but maybe he already teleported up top. Oh, hello. Okay, who is, who has like that explosive gun? That's what I want to know. Okay. Keep on moving forward. And see a few more over there. Ah, another legendary coming up. Let's just take that quantum. This, this is gonna hurt. Still in caution. It's just absurd. Oh, hello. You're up there. And then we'll finish off with the legendary. <laughs> That is how you do it. What do you have? Cavaliers. Not going to be blocking. Not going to be sprinting. So long, slob. Don't call me a slob. That's just rude.
bunch more explosions going on. Taking him out, Nisha. He's about dead. I'll probably, he'll probably. Ah, there we go. We got the psycho buff worn off now. I guess we may as well retank on that. No sense of not. Gotta get my smokes. Definitely a lot of operators and everything to uh, go through here. But with having a little backup, not too big of a deal. You're going down, operator. Got a couple of them. Ooh, a veteran. Ooh. And you tanked that. Dang. Oh. You were shooting next to a feral ghoul? What were you doing? Oh, another idiot savant? No way. I was not expecting to hit a couple level ups with this. Nice. Deadeye, pretty good. It's a nice one to have just for sniping, but we got that level up. I was not expecting that whatsoever. I know that opens up something good. Is it the next rank of ninja? Yes, yes it is. That's going to be devastating now. Doing that 10x normal damage for sneaking. That'll be absolutely wreck all of them. I think I'm coming up into being super, super strong to be able to deal with the exterior. And this ghoul is just chilling. All right, then. You'd think they... He would have came too. Okay. Can't quite reach them from here. Mason is up here already. There's William Black. So, throwing some explosives in. Ah, that's one of those smart grenades. That wasn't a gun. It was... That makes a lot more sense. This is where things could get a little bit more tricky, though. In fact, let's just roll with a basic jet so we can close the gap a little bit more. Gotta kill Meg's Black and... Come on. No. No. Yeah, William Black. Okay. Crit. He hit me. Okay, okay. Oh, now I'm still getting hit hard. Still getting hit hard. No AP. No AP. Okay. I blitzed right out into the way. There again. Okay. We got uh just hit a bunch of stuff. We need that quantum. We need that AP. Hit up the quartz. And... Peckish, that's okay. I think we need to just do a purified water. <clears throat> who's, who's shooting? Okay, where am I getting shot at? There's a... Pretty sure there's a legendary here. Yes, there they are. Still getting shot in the back. Come on, turn, 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 turn. <clears throat> Oh, crud muffins. Uh, I am 
Super low health. We need to uh, keep the jet rolling. I don't care. Time is already slowed. Just give me, give me everything. My, I don't know if I'm. Okay, I just feel. How many more are there? There were a few more up here than I was expecting. Still in danger. Okay, fall back. Fall back. Don't shoot me. Go ahead, Nisha. Whew. Few more than I was expecting. That waster's about dead, and I'm only in caution. Howdy duty. <laughs> that was I really enjoyed that. Never never saw me, just walked right into basically stabbed himself with the knife. Nice job, waster. What an idiot. We did it, Nisha. We did it, Mason. Good work. Before I grab that key, what did the other legendary have? And where was the legendary? That is the real question. I don't think it I don't think they're up here. And we'll get the dressing room key. Have anything good? Take a left guard. There's the plant control room key. And there's the special grenade that was being used. Okay, yeah, we're at the... Ah, right there. Right there. Ah, staggering 10 millimeter. Decent... Decent legendary effect for a fast firing weapon. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. And as it is nighttime, this should be quite the display. Power coming on. Very nice. Yay for fireworks, and of course, yeah, be able to uh, see all the lands from here. Looks really good. We did it. We restored power to Nuka World. I feel really good about that. Coming back to the random spawn point. Looks like some operators decided to uh, make shop here again. I think it's worthwhile to take them out. I mean, honestly, the operators should know that they are no longer welcome here. And there's even... A legendary operator right there. That was tough. Idiot savant again. Another 630. It's insane. And what do we got? Ah. Uh, <laughs> you are caught in that sign. That's hilarious. 
So, incendiary metal left leg garbage. Never want to be actually hit by a melee attacker. Come on, you know our side has the most fun. Yeah, you're right. I love the disciples. They're probably my favorite gang. Just need to check in with Porter Gage one more time. Nuka world. All lit up. It's goddamn beautiful. So now with power play completed, uh, having favored the disciples and the pack, we have gained the chosen disciple and the pack alpha perks. And there we go. We are actually dangerously close to another level up. So with those two perks, the chosen disciple kills made by the melee weapons will restore some of your action points so that'll be very handy especially once you start stacking it with like the disciples blade be able to get a ton of good good action points and just basically non-stop use with that and with the pack alpha got increased damage resistance and dealing more damage while unarmed or using the melee weapons so it fits in very, very nicely with what we actually have to work with. So if we just kind of look on over, we're sitting at 128 and 113 for damage. Now the greatly increase, it might be like just 10 increase or 5. So really not that much better. And our Disciples Blade is sitting at 356. Which... I don't remember exactly what we had. This was at 555, but that was with our buff tats and psycho buff and our booze kicking in for us. But with no adrenaline, which we are now at rank 6 of adrenaline. So overall, I'm sure I will be able to deal more damage in everything. And I guess take a little bit more. Now, this does technically wrap up the majority of the DLC. We can also run some odd jobs for Nisha or Mason, but I don't think we are really looking into dealing with that right now. Any operators we come across will be hostile, but we'll just have to take them out as they come. As I'm tired, I do want to take one more rest and there is one other thing that I want to deal with prior to calling it a part and a series here first things first with that power restored look at those animatronics waving uh, uh, Cappy's not waving but it's not just bottling Cappy is it can't be that seems not very good. There's a waving cappy. But since we are right in here, the market is cleared of operators. The exterior cleared of Damn. operators here. Hit this thing pretty well. I'm kind of thinking we're going to just want to hit up the parlor itself and clear the operators from in here. What the? Yeah, they're going to go instantly hostile. And I have no backup here. Oh, sneak attack 10 times. Excellent. Yeah, they're not going to be too happy with me. Ooh, and Lizzie is very strong. I might end up be biting off a little bit more than I can chew in here. Oh, <laughs> they're right behind me. Especially now, I am exposed in this room. Do, 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 do. Back out. Caution, not danger. Let's ride high on the psycho buff one more time. We've been hitting that up a plenty. We have business to take care of. There's Lizzie and no, no, with no. the crit. 
Got one more level up. And hidden. Gotta hand it to the operators. They are at least dressed well. Well, the brackets aren't shuffling. I bet that is going to be it for the operators. Don't see anybody else hidden around. Nice, nice. Now the last of their leaders, named characters, should be dead. My last destination is going to be ahead just a little bit from here. Got my custom compass marker set. So some of you guys might know where I'm heading. I have a little bit of revenge in mind. But as we're going, I never ended up doing the Cappy quest for Sierra. Really, I probably should have talked to her earlier on as I have yet to talk to her just to get the Cappy glasses. And when I was actually in the different lands, I probably should have just taken the Cappy there. But the reward, I don't find that good. Just the Nuka Nuke launcher. Obviously, being a melee run, that's not going to help me out any. So, I did think about just going back and getting all the cappies and just doing the end of that too. But, I didn't really feel as though it was worth it. You can do the cappies. Pretty good reward overall, I guess, if you wanted like the Nuka Nuke launcher. But, really not for me. Just Brad Burton is in there, founder of the Nuka Cola. Should be coming up nice and close. That Assaultron, after it took me out. I want revenge on that bad boy. Or girl, I guess, as they are technically females. And look at the beautiful gazelles on the map now from the Replicator. They don't even care. Just kill them. Yeah. Ah. So this was a very conscientious pack of gazelles. Got one toothbrush, took care of oral hygiene, and that one had a little bit of money left over. That's that's nice. It's good that they, they, that they wanted to do that. I see your hideout. Gunner Sergeant over there. Just a matter, I think the main thing is don't want to be in caution or especially danger because they'll be looking for me They'll be wanting to take me out. And I can't have that because that death ray from the Assaultron, as was evident from before, can very, very much easily destroy me. So if I can all do this real stealth-like... Come on, you were just there. Where's where'd that private go? Who? Okay, over there. Problem is, I have to ride up to get access, and the Saltron is up top. Being that I have the psycho buff. <laughs> Okay, that was sneak attack. Still hidden. This is going to be the deciding part, though. I'm hidden for now, but when I start going up, 
will I remain hidden? So I'm going to have to do a lovely, lovely cocktail once again. Try to get as much damage resistance as possible just in case the Assaultron sees me and wants to shoot its death ray. I don't think I could be any more stealthy or any more anything right now. There's the Assaultron. Oh, fantastic. That was my biggest concern right there. Revenge is mine. Gonna private. Just looking to run out. And hit in once again. I am gonna be inflicting massive, massive damage. When looking at the special, our strength is at a whopping 25 endurance at 17 agility 15 we are rocking out like crazy right now stealth and everything of course psycho buff just wore out i think we want to hit up the psycho buff once again as we're going to be crossing crossing the bridge over here We may as well even hit up one more endurance since we do have the level up. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to be a sitting duck here. Hopefully they don't see anything. Looks like power armor. Is that another Assaultron? I sure hope not. It is... Okay, please don't see me, please don't see me, please don't see me. You have like a Batman. Oh, crud muffins. Okay, they're running away. Psychic blast, okay. Still be hidden, please. Yes, they are walking away. Ooh. That was a way closer to the edge than I was anticipating. <laughs> Almost just felt my death. Okay, we got the... Okay, there's the commander. Where's the Assaultron? No, I don't care about the commander. I want the Assaultron. It's right there. Yes. And I'm right into cover. Okay, he's aware of me. If only I could tag. And caution. Coming this way. Yes. And in range. Power armor down. Oh, more yet. Okay, just a private, but a private in power armor. Peekaboo. Okay, is that the last gunner? Yes, it certainly looks like it. Nice, nice, and nice. Can't have gunners when this is Nuka World being a raider base. Can't have gunners sitting around. He was even rocking some T60 and T51. That's pretty good. So, with this, I think it is time to call it a part and a series here. If you called 24 total deaths on the old death counter... You would be accurate. I think 24 deaths overall for a level 1 run is pretty good. I'm very happy with that. 
I could have definitely done a little bit better, but overall, I was pleased with how it turned out. So if you want to try to beat me and do a level one run yourself, 24 is the mark to beat. I think it's definitely, definitely doable. And looking forward, I'm planning on doing level one Far Harbor next. I'll probably do a week or two break of Fallout and probably dabble in a couple other miscellaneous games as kind of one-offs. Just bring back a little bit of nostalgia for me. But I am very happy with how this ran out, and that was a lot, a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Thank you for joining with me in this journey, and I look forward to many more videos to come. But with that, thanks for watching, and thanks for joining. And this has been Level 1 Nuke World. Powering off.